Yo guys, what's going on? My name is VK and welcome to another exciting, phenomenal creations video effect tutorial. Hope you guys are all doing well. Since it's been a crazy long time since my last upload on this channel, a last upload on a, a video effect, but here we are and I'm gonna give you guys a real nice treat here. I'm gonna guys give you an in invisibility effect here. It's been quite requested actually in the past and I decided now to take on the challenge and give you guys one. But the best part about this invisibility tutorial is that as you know there's a million ways to create anything inside Adobe After Effects in the film world and this is one is pretty quick to do. This won't take so many minutes of your time or your life. So hope you guys will enjoy this so grab yourself some popcorn if you find this entertaining and let's just stop waste any more of your time and let's go jump in and see how we can create an invisibility effect to see something like this. Cool light refractions, we can see some chromatic aberration, this prism effect happening and we can see um, an accurate outline, we can see the background getting um, getting that turbulence and that displacement of them, the glass effect of having an invisible man in your shot. So now let's not waste any more time, as I said let's jump in and see how this is pulled off. <coughs> All right, so we need two kinds of footages when we need start doing this. We need a clean plate of just the clean plate of what you want to have as a background and then some green screen footage of yourself in front of a green screen. So that's what it is and then when you have filmed your green screen footage, if you decide to shoot your own, then just have a clean plate just right behind it without anything. Those two are needed for this 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 effect to work. My method, so there you go. And if you wonder why I have a short hair, it's really easily answered. In the military, you're not allowed to have long hair, so goodbye long hair. I will grow back when I get the chance. So, if you were worried. Awesome. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and now start creating on this. So let's take our clean play footage and... As always, if you want to use my footage as train in training purposes, really check out the link in down the description and get it, get it for yourself. You know the deal. So this is our footage right here. And now I want to show you a little trick here. Since we're working with mats and alpha layers in this tutorial, I want to show you guys, share with you guys a little trick here that might help you distinguish alpha layers. So hit Command K or Control K on your keyboard to pull up your composition settings, and here. We can rename the composition, composition, for example, to let's call it tutorial. Tutorial. Let's just call it that, and have the background color. The background color is the color that distinguishes what is the alpha, alpha color, the alpha layer. So having it red, so anything you have with an alpha layer, its background will be red, and that is just to help you understand that. Okay, now I'm working with an alpha layer. Having it black or gray might somewhere screw up your mind and maybe may maybe may get you confused so having a red is a pretty safe bet but you know you can have any color you want it's not that important it doesn't have to be red to make this effect work it's just a little pro tip for me all right so we have our clean play here let's drop in our footage on top of it so we have it like this stream off some a couple seconds from the beginning since I'm making myself ready for the camera so now I'm just there in front of the camera doing what I do. So what we need to do is to key off myself from this green screen here. And if you want a good green screening tutorial, I have one on the channel, so go check it out. I will leave it up in the cards and go check it out if you want to. Uh, but I will make a really, really quick keying since this effect won't require a really detailed key since we are still working with some light and rough edges and you know, we're invisible, we don't want to see details, so that's pretty much why we can pull off a really quick key here. So let's select the footage layer, have it selected, or in case you don't want to create a shape layer, I do that like every every time. So click G on your keyboard to get your pen tool, or click it up here to activate it, and let's just make a really quick and a rough mask around me, around the green screen here. Like this. Awesome. Then what we do is go ahead and find from effects and presets 
the key light effect, key light 1.2 here, drop it on the footage, let's take the pick, uh, the, the color picker tool, find a color somewhere around myself there, let's make, a, let's go to the screen map so we can see the black and white stats, open up the screen map menus and just boost the black so the background is all black like this and then we can lower the whites to make the character which is me white like this then we go to final result we can see something happening awesome then we can go ahead and just drop in some softness to the key so it's not super harsh and that's pretty much it so actually that was probably my life's most quickest key ever and that happened caught on camera on tutorial so that's awesome so it's not the most perfect key but it doesn't have to be just so we can separate myself from that green screen so now if I would turn myself on and off I have a background I can add myself where I want to but then again it looks natural since the green screen was shot in the same light and the same uh, same place as the clean plate so it looks pretty natural all right, so it's time to move to the second second phase of this everything. So what we can do now is take the select the footage layer and pre-compose it so we don't mess with any of our effects in the uh, in the future. So pre-compose command shift C control shift C, you know the deal. Let's call this VK like which is not BK breaking VK and keyed VK keyed this and move all attributes have the move all attributes uh, selected when you do this click OK so now if we would solo this now we can see the alpha layer which the transparent part of the video is now red and that is just to help me to know that aha uh -huh, now I'm working with an alpha layer since now I see that red color alright so what we need now to do is go ahead and double this uh, duplicate this layer so command D control D to duplicate this layer and this is going to be our white uh, our white mat here and what we can do we can go ahead and turn off all the other layers so we can just see the VK keyed and what we're gonna do is drop a tint effect so let's find a tint effect we're not gonna make this black and white we're gonna make myself completely white so take uh, have both of the colors white here let's have that to be white and the black color to be white. This just helps when we start working with matte layers in the in the end. So what we're gonna do now, we have our white he here, we can rename it, let's just hit enter, and then we rename this layer to white matte. Just so you know what we're working with, so. Then what we, do, what we can do is to duplicate our clean plate, our background layer, which will be the effect layer and um, the cutout layer for our background. That sounds a little bit diffuse, but I will you'll understand just in a minute. So let's duplicate the clean plate. Let's rename this to effect. So we know, well, let's rename it to FX. That's a lot cooler. And let's move this effects layer between the white mat and the VK keyed layer right here. So now what we do, if we would go ahead and change that effects layers track mat to alpha mat for the white mat and now just turn select the effects so we can see all the effects layer visible we can see an outline a cut a cut out of the background inside my character here and that's just what we want so now you can we can do uh, start setting up all our effects into this layer and that will start affecting our whole visible invisible thing here all right so let's move on now what we can do is go ahead and activate our clean plate so we have it that visible so now you won't see anything since this is our cutout just but having this clean plate visible so we can see when we have it visible we will see all the changes we do to this effects layer happen in real time so that's really good so next what we do is we find a displacement See if we can type a displacement map effect here. We drag it to the effects layer, and this will add our invisibility displacement effect 
in a soul. This is the most important effect here. And let's just have, it's, it's important to remember that the display map layer should be the VK keyed. And that is just the, uh, the layer with the, with the details of the shirt, of the face, with the skin colors and all this. So that's the layer with the most information. So that's one is the one you should have selected. If you should have just the effects comp, it would just be an outline and nothing special right there. Then for the both of the horizontal and vertical displacements have the color selected to luminance. And luminance attacks more of the black and whites and the alpha differences. So that's why luminance is really good to have. And here is a small trick I like to use when I do this. So in most case scenarios, you could use the max horizontal displacement for like 50, 50 for the value of 50 and vertical to 25. And you would have this kind of, you, you would have already uh, a result here. But thing I don't like here with the, with the plus 50 is you can see the eyeballs. And see the eyeballs you can see every time I look inside the camera. So, and as you can see here, now you can see I'm looking inside the, to the camera. It doesn't look good. And I did this on purpose when I shot this so I could demonstrate for you an alternative measure. So, which actually looks better. And that is to use minus 60. Since no one is telling you that you couldn't go to the negative side when I hit enter, it will give a slightly different kind of uh, displacement, but it also it eliminates the thing that you will, uh, would see the eyeballs. So this looks a lot better since it's not distracting and I think it also gives overall a better image or a better displacement. So I think that's really, really good. Awesome. So now when we have this, we can add one more effect here and then we add the chromatic aberration and then we're done here. Cool. So let's find the CC sorry CC glass effect here just to add some extra touching give some light diffraction and some smoothness so this that's why this is really good but if you have a really slow uh, PC system or a computer system this will might take a while to render so softness we can hit some softness here and give some displacement go to the light ones and drop on the light light intensity give it some light there Let's go to shading. We can play with the light high here. So like this light direction so we can see how it diffracts with ourselves. That looks pretty good. Let's have the spe specular which is those highlights. We give that a little bump. A little shininess. It's just to play with the settings here. But then having that softness is probably the thing I want most out of them. Then we can drop the specular. Pretty, that's pretty pretty harsh there. So just putting this on and off, we can see a little little like this, um, um, you can say quality bump. And so we're refracting the light since we are still a medium with light passing through and all, but no physics here. Okay, so we have our effects there. Now we want to add the chromatic aberration and then we're done here. And so what we need to do is to duplicate the VK keyed layer here, VK keyed, uh, and then we need to pre-compose these three layers. And the reason we duplicate the VK keyed is this is the layer that holds the displacement effect. So if you would just pre-compose these two, it would mess up the whole effect. So having a duplicate inside that pre-comp, then we will see no differences, but it helps when we're adding effects. So let's call this InvisiVK final effect and then I'm gonna use just a stylizing plugin called magic bullet looks and you don't have to use this this is we're pretty much done with the tutorial in that sense but the chromatic aberration just adds a little bit more extra spice to the effect itself so having that let's just go click on edit it will jump up to to the looks here let's go to the lens take chromatic aberration Play with the red and cyan, give some red and cyan, drop the blue and yellow, give some green and magenta. And 
this. Let's just click OK. And then this will just affect our InvisiVK since it is um, an alpha layer. So now when we click on, we should have a pretty solid invisibility effect here with that look. So we can see how it looks with on and off with that chromatic aberration. It really adds a little more of that prism effect. So this looks pretty good. So this is pretty much the whole tutorial here. It's pretty quick, as I told you, pretty straightforward. So, hey guys, my name is VK and we have reached the end of this tutorial. Hope you guys did enjoy it as I did. And hope you guys will find this useful in your VFX future. My name is VK. I'll see you guys next time. And like this if you like it. Yeah, give me a like of this guy. Comment down below what you thought of this tutorial. And then don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll miss you my guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. My name is VK. To the next one. Peace.